Okay, so welcome back to another MVC live session. We hope all of you enjoyed the one that we had earlier with Vanshika and Irene. And this is another live session that we're having today where Irene is going to be joining us straight from Korea. Hi. Hi. Okay, so Irene is here guys. Hi guys. Welcome to our second uh, skincare digno diagnosis live session. All right guys. So, uh, let's get started. So, um, this is another MVC skincare diagnosis session where we'll be uh, diagnosing the skincare routine of one of you all. So, today we'll be diagnosing the skincare routine of Namrata. Um, Irene, should we begin? Yes, yes. Okay, great. So, um, Namrata is 22 years old and one of her main skin issue is hyperpigmentation. As she's described, she says that since 3-4 months, uh, past 3-4 months, especially her cheek and chin area have a lot of acne scars and uh, she has an oily T-zone in the morning so for those of you all who don't know T-zone, this area is the T-zone and she's also mentioned that her skin troubles are sometimes really bad and she works out 1-3 to three times in a day and drinks a lot of water um, almost 2 litres of water in a day so as per her lifestyle we say that her lifestyle is good she is uh, drinking a lot of water and as you can see on the screen Irene is showing uh, you her skin concern so if you notice she doesn't have a lot of active acne but it's more of acne scars and pigmentation if you can see closely the, these acne are at this stage where they've probably healed but left a scar okay okay all right let's start uh, from her morning routine Right. Yes. Uh, can we know her morning routine from cleanser step? Sure. So for her cleanser, currently she's using a Nitrogena Salicylic 2% cleanser. Neutrogena 2% uh, Salicylic cleanser. Right. That's the one she's using for her morning uh, skincare routine. Mm. So I think um, this is all oil, oil type cleansers, so it's good for oily skin. Uh, right. But because of uh, it has, um, because of uh, colors and pH and some sulfonate ingredients, uh, I think uh, if she have she has um, sensitive uh, skin type, uh, I think uh, she 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 should avoid this product. Uh, and also, uh, this product does not contain any moisturizing um, ingredients. Okay. So, if she feel uh, dry after using this uh, product, um, then I think uh, she choose good moisturizer and apply it after the finer after at the finer skincare step. Okay understood okay my recommendation uh, for her is this one okay plant this is, yes the plant base ac clear magic foam a1 plus cleanser a1 oh. plus <laughs> <laughs> too long uh it contains 40 44 percent of Centella, Centella extract. As you know, Centella is very uh, good ingredients for calming, skin calming. Yeah. And it doesn't have any uh, purified water. Instead of purified water, it contains 44% of uh, Sika, uh, Sika, Centella extract. Right. Yes. Uh, and also, it uh, contains seven kind of herbal extracts. So, it helps wound uh, your uh, uh, heal heal your wound uh, skin. Hmm. So, helps in healing the skin also. Yeah. The, okay. The texture is not too special. Okay. Right. Okay. 
or if you have um, pigmentation, uh, try sure. to use brightening foam cleanser at the beginning of skincare routine. Uh, this right. is our new product of, from Gudal. Product name is Green Tangerine Vita C Cleansing Foam. Uh, it contains uh, six types of acid and niacinamide and arbutin. So it has uh, skin more bright, uh, more brightening. Right. So it helps in brightening the skin as well. So somebody dealing with pigmentation, this will be a great help. So then in the morning, after the cleanser, Namrata mm -hmm. uses Innisfree Green Tea Mist Toner. So let's see the ingredients. Um, it has green tea and panthenol. Hmm. So I think it uh, has skin soothing and skin protection. But uh, Pantenor, is, uh, Pantenor is very good ingredients, but sometimes it uh, depends on the skin condition. It may feel like sleepy. Slippery? Okay. Slippery. Oh, slippery. Okay, got it. <laughs> slippery. Hmm. Um, but this is very good product, but on, um, only one thing. Uh, is it uh, has a little bit fragrance uh, fragrance I think it's uh, hover fragrance right mm. so, a lot of people are showing a lot of love for Innisfree so as you guys know Innisfree is now finally available on Macaron so you can head to macaron.in and shop Innisfree as well yeah uh, you may be wondering if you should spray mist on your face or not. Hmm. Sometimes, um, uh, I think, I think uh, some might think that mist is just water. Right. Um, in fact, mist uh, composed only of water uh, has potential to lock of moisture. Okay. Uh, but uh, this is old fashion. Uh, in the meantime, there have been many developments in the mist field. Uh, so, and some mist containing moisture, moisture ingredients such as hyaluronic acid to provide moist. And there are mist with oil ingredients for the dry season. So you can try mist if you don't use, uh, don't use only, uh, you don't use mist, no, just try yeah. it. Yeah. And you can use facial mist into your skincare routine as a light and fresh toner refresh, uh, replacement. Okay. Uh, right right, right after, after cleansing. Yes. Hmm. Uh, I think in my case, as soon as I wash my face in the bathroom, hmm. after toweling and spraying, uh, spray the mist directly on my face. Uh, this is because moisture can be blown away in five seconds to reach, ah. yes, reach the dressing table. Right, that's very, I think, good tip for our audience also to know. Yes, and another tip is uh, if used with cotton pad, the mist can even function as skin pad. Oh, like a skin pack. So you mean we put it on the cotton pads and apply it on our face? Yes. Oh, that's if great. You, if you have a cotton, cotton pad, right? Mist it and right. Right. Ah, uh, so it works like a skin pack. Yes. So this is, I think, Irene, uh, basically for a quick fix, right? Like for a quick hydration or moisture, something yeah. that somebody's looking for a quick tip. Yeah. Okay. Move to next. All right. So for the next step, just a second. She's uh, straight away going to moisturizer. She's not using a serum currently. 
and for the yes. moisturizer she is using laneige cream skin moisturizer oh. mm. and sometimes also the face shop clandula moisturizer okay uh laneige cream skin is is kind of toner not a cream so okay. i think um she need to add uh, some cream or um cream type moisturizer absolutely hmm mm. uh laneige cream skin has widow foam oil widow foam oil is very light type oil and ex okay. expensive ingredients so it's good and toco pepper toco pepper is like vitamin C and green tea. Okay. green tea is help uh, soothing and moisturizing right i think the toner is good but this hmm. toner is more a fit more dry skin but she has oily skin right she has oily skin and especially she says her t zone gets extremely oily yes. in the mornings yes yes hmm. uh so Mm. I think uh she would be better to change to toner for oil oily skin. Okay, understood. So I recommend toner with aha. Aha. Mm. Mm. Aha helps uh speed up the skin toner cycle. So I recommend um this uh product <laughs> it's some um, oh even uh, even i have this one <laughs> good all apple good good all again to no uh this contains aha and apple extract so it right. helps um um removing remove uh dead cell efficiently hmm. So I think this is also important for people who are looking to prevent acne as well, right? Because it yeah. helps in deep clearing mm. uh, the skin. Mm. Um, it has a uh, toner pad as well, it has right? Two, two types of uh, product: toner and toner toner pad. we can also show the texture of the toner it's very watery like so i think this is great for oily skin as you mentioned because it's not going to make their skin more oily mm. and you can just pat it on your skin okay move to the serum step but uh she is not using serum not right using. now right yeah but serum mm, is the most effective routine so you guys you should use a uh, serum and cream uh, i prepared three kind of serum for her wow. first one is uh clears 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 fresh just vitamin drop is very famous in india right and the second one is godai green tea it's one oh. of the most popular 95 yeah on balancing essence uh this is the clears uh serum is contains 5% vitamin c ingredients so it improve uh their skin tone effect effectively but it uh this is quite uh strong strong product so i recommend using this product night time only okay. uh because it's uh, it con it contains vitamin c and vitamin c is very weak or uh, too light right so that's why and vitamin c uh uh f um using uh use vitamin e vitamin e product after vitamin c 
serum or something is uh, occurred uh, synergy synergy thing right so to make your product more effective and to have great yeah. synchronization uh you can use vitamin e after uh vitamin e products after you use vitamin c <laughs> somebody said you your nails look amazing i mean <laughs> so if you use you no know, apply this product and then apply the, this this right it's going to have a greater effect yes Life this of Medi is saying I use vitamin E mask by Claire's to make vitamin C more effective. That's amazing. You're already doing uh, mm. the good job. Yeah, I will uh, show the texture. Right, texture wow. is very light. Yeah, looks very watery as well. And gel type. Gel type, yeah. Okay, and move to another uh, serum. Um, if you use um, this and this for brightening, uh, I recommend use this one for daytime. Okay, because. Uh, this includes very safe uh, brightening vitamin ingredients. C. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, green tangerine extract and niacinamide and arbutin is arbutin, and this one is effect, but you can use uh, only at night time. So mm -hmm. use uh, this and this together makes uh, best effect. For right. brightening. Also, guys, uh, green tangerine is a vitamin C derivative, so that's why it's more safe to step out during the daytime using this. Can we move to cream step? Yes. So for moisturizer, as we you already discussed about the Laneige cream skin. Uh, also, with that, she's mentioned that she's using the Face Shop Clandula moisturizer. Oh, she's using moisturizer. The Laneige Cream Skin. Uh, even if she is on oily skin, skin. double moisturizing is absolutely necessary. Double okay. moisturizing means um, fair um, moisture from from toner first, and then make a water water barrier. Hmm. Water barrier. Uh, this is hmm. because uh, it is not only hydrate the skin but also hmm. form a thin barrier on the skin to protect it from harmful outside environment during daytime. So, so guys, if you have uh, oily skin, you should uh, try cream cream for oil oil oily skin. In the evening, if you use cream conditioning vitamin E, that boosts effective effects effects of vitamin C serum. There yeah. is so a synergy. It helps in okay. It helps in efficacy of vitamin C. So if you use vitamin E after the vitamin C step, it will help boost uh, the impact. Right, Idi? Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We are moved to. SPF, right? Right, SPF. Okay. So for the SPF step, currently she's using L'Oreal Perfect Super Aqua Essence SPF 50. All so right. So it's an SPF okay. by L'Oreal. Okay. Uh, this um, this product, the SP uh, SPF is 50. Is good, good number. And hmm. the texture is very light texture, but the uh, mm, but it has dimethicone, 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 and alcohol. So I don't recommend this product for hmm. acne-prone skin 
and sensitive skin. So I recommend um, Suntic Iron Pure Perfect Sika Sunscreen. Right. Because it's good for sensitive skin. And okay, I'm pure, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm pure perfect Sika sunscreen has steric steric acid. Oh, uh, okay. Steric acid. Uh, sometimes it occurs. Uh, it clogs pore. Sometimes. Okay, clogs so, the pores. Uh. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, if you use this product, uh, please be uh, use carefully. If you have big pore, or mm. Mm. but if the product is very mild, and the second recommendation is Innisfree Blueberry Rebalancing Watery Sunscreen. It also a right. uh, very lightweight. I don't I don't have product right now. Uh, mm. The texture is very watery, and so. Um, after use uh, this product and uh, wearing wear makeup is very good. Okay, move to another next step. All right. So there is a special segment that we'll be discussing today, which is the spot care. Um, yes. So it's very crucial to know how to take care of the spot treatments and especially how to use uh, acne patches. So Irene is going to be discussing uh, how to correctly use acne patches and how they can be the most effective. Yeah, I prepared two types of acne patch. Uh, this is acne uh, simple master patch. Master patch, this one. So this is the one that Super. is white and red. Oh yeah, we both have it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I put... Okay, we can see. This one on my right. acne my new newly acne <laughs> <laughs> they will the just pop out of nowhere and the second one is more thin type okay this and this hmm. different right right different mm. uh, Okay, there are two types of acne pads. First one is for before squeezing, and the second one is after squeezing. The first one, before squeezing pads, um, usually includes uh, salicylic sun for exfoliation, or tea tree oil for anti inflammatory or antibacterial or, um, for, or hyaluronic acid for moisturizing um, like like this one so acne pimple uh, master patch is the one Irene is talking about right now I will show the patch Right. Oh. It's, uh, it's clear. Yeah. Uh, no. And not easily. <laughs> it's not easy to <laughs> spot. <laughs> um, it helps reduce uh, implement implementation. Right, so it helps in calming the inflammation down. Mm. Uh, but uh, if you apply this type of patch after squeezing the acne, mm. uh, salicylic, uh, sometimes salicylic acid soften the normal skin, so mm. causing more pigmentation. So okay, using so this uh, patches before squeezing. Okay, so guys, it's very important to know which kind of uh, patch you need to use because as Irene mentioned, if you use this after the, uh, you know, probably your impurities have come out and after squeezing the dug, it can cause scarring and pigmentation. Yeah, and the second one is 
after speaking pet okay i think this is more thin and apply this pet and then um, wear some makeup Right. Yeah. Here. Um. <laughs> I think right now the light is right on. It's yes, so more yes. visible, but it's <laughs> yes. definitely thinner. It so. looks uh, glassy, but uh, it's a matte type. Yeah, I think it's the light. <laughs> yes. Yes. Then uh, I will let you know how to use acne patch. Before toner step, uh, apply this uh, hydrochloric patch and replace uh, this patch every one or two days. Right. And uh, apply acne. Or acne um, spa cream, effective acne area at the night time. Because um, I'm using these pads during daytime, but hmm. sometimes I I'm using um, the blemish cream. cream. Yeah, blemish okay. cream at the night time. Apply this a little bit amount mm. at the acne area. Okay, right. And then, so this is good to apply during night uh, time, I think. Yes. Okay. Like this. This is a good fix. Maybe I'll try it today also. I have a new acne coming up. New pimple. Mm. Mm. Is it yellow or red acne? The color. Mine. Red. Yeah. Yeah. Red. 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 Then uh, it's use. It's not visible in the light. Then use uh, acne master patch. Ah, uh, master patch. Mm. Okay. If the Acne color, this one. Yellow. Then use this one. Oh, yeah, okay. yes, this one. Mm. Her night routine is just three: L'Oreal Perfect White and uh, Kama Ayurveda Skin Oil Treatment and Innisfree Volcanic Mask once a week. Mm. Uh, I think. Um, L'Oreal Perfect White is cleanser. Right. Uh, I think she can use uh, same, same like a uh, morning skincare routine. Uh, avoid um, the ingredients. Uh, okay. Like vitamin. Uh, yeah, vitamin, vitamin C. At the, um, uh, she's using oil. At the night time, so I prepared how to use oil at the night time. Uh, I don't have uh, okay. oil right now, so I'm I will use uh, this this one for test. Okay, so basically, uh, Irene is going to be giving us tips on how to use oil at night time. So please hear her carefully; she's amazing. <laughs> Uh, when using the oil all over your face, put a few drops of the oil on your thumb, like uh, drop oil on your palm. palm. Okay, on the palm. Uh, just, just two, two, three drops. 
and lock your hand several times hmm. and heat them up okay so basically like yeah. this to heat the oil mm. up a little mm. okay just several time then press your face gently with your palm a few times okay like this okay like this mm. right okay and guys the please note this is the last skin care step as i need mentioned this is the last yeah. step and the second tip there um uh, i already mentioned um uh, carrier oil and uh aroma oil before hmm. at the morning skin care routine step uh, um in particular in case of essential oil Hmm. research and research or study is very lacking so it is not recommend to apply them directly to the skin right so i recommend if if you sh if you use um essential oil uh use essential oil with your moisturizer Mix okay. your your gel type moisturizer and essential oil, just one to two drops, and mm. mix it and apply. Okay, and this apply just normally how we apply the moisturizer, right? Yes, and sometimes okay. a pure essential oil occurred skin. makes skin turns dark hmm. or tan uh, for example i um, i have reply from our customer who hmm. um who apply ro root rose bulgarian rose oil bulgarian rose oil her skin right. yes and he, and her skin turns kind of black oh, oh like it cause pigmentation uh i think uh her skin uh turns tan 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 oh tan yeah okay okay hmm so uh using uh mix mixing the oil and cream yeah uh, prevent from mm, this one So try it. And she's using Innisfree Volcanic Mask once a week. Hmm. So I also uh, prepared how to use mud mask. <laughs> this <laughs> this one. Uh, this is Isentry Real Mugwort Clay Mask. Okay. So my first. tip is uh, to use this mud pack while showering okay while like you're in the in shower. shower yeah like in shower oh okay in shower pack i use uh, this method often it is good for physically removing dead skin cells with hmm. uh, keeping moisturized moisture hmm. Hmm. the and the second tip is to use part use it partially hmm. apply the packs thickly to the nose nose and t-zone area right with poor problem apply thickly and then uh, let it dry for only 10 10 minutes for 10 minutes 10 minutes okay yeah dry it during 10 minutes then i can wash my face with water hmm. but hmm. i prefer to use a toner pad to soak soak up 
Right. Corner pad. Or uh, set up the mod pad. Hmm. This is okay. Wow. Mm. Very effective um, way to control pores with less physical uh, irritation. Uh, we will import. You you can meet this product very soon on Macaron. Yeah, we'll be launching it soon, so you guys can mm. actually stay tuned. Or is entry is entry so you know to recommend and suko then um you can easily remove dead skin cell right without um uh, without any irritation Yay. this is very helpful even for me like i didn't know this hack that you can actually use the toner pad on top of it <laughs> okay okay uh this or uh what we prepared for Namrita skincare routine. We really hope it's yeah. been helpful. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this is Irene and Suhina signing off from the live now. Uh, please stay tuned to Macaron. Uh, follow us on Instagram if you haven't already. All right, guys, thank you so much. I hope thank everybody you. stays. Take care. Bye. See you again. Bye. Bye.